One of the strongest evidences for intelligent design are irreducible mechanisms. These are mechanisms that need several parts simultaneously to have a useful function. I've been working about 15 years on uh, analyzing the human knee joints. I've published papers in international conferences and journals like the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. And what I've uh, been studying in the human knee joint is what's called a four bar mechanism. If you take a parallelogram uh, mechanism with four bars and four pins, if you fold it inside out, it's called inverting, you get an inverted four bar parallelogram mechanism. And this is a hinge, and this is a model of what happens inside your knee. These black bars are the cruciate ligaments, the, the light gray bars are, are your bones, the femur bone and the tibia bone. And it's a wonderful mechanism that helps your knee joint uh, move smoothly. Now, every engineer knows that a four bar mechanism cannot evolve step by step. You need all four bars and all four pins simultaneously. And there is no evidence that that could evolve step by step. Uh, in fact, no evolutionist can even explain how it could evolve step by step. So this, I would say, is a classic evidence for intelligent design. So a, another evidence for intelligent design would be what I call over-design in the natural world. Over-design is, is very familiar to an engineering designer. This year, I was involved in leading the transmission design for the British Olympic uh, track bicycles. I designed and tested the chain and the chain wheels, and they were optimized to a very high degree, uh, what, what we would call over-designed. Uh, but in the natural world, we also see over-design. I think human beings would be the classic example. If you look at human language, in, in the English language, we have up to a million words. Humans don't need to speak with such sophistication to survive. Humans can make facial expressions, up to 10,000 facial expressions. And you don't need to do that to be able to survive. Humans have skillful fingers and fine skin that enable us to uh, play all kinds of musical instruments. Our hands are designed for much more than throwing a spear or throwing a punch. They're designed for very fine things. And then the human voice, which is capable of amazing singing. Again, that's what I call over-designed. From head to toe, humans are over-designed, designed for much more than survival.